You are terrible people. Tell us again what happened at Permani Brothers? They kicked us out of Permani Brothers so that they could get the paid actors inside. Ridiculous. There's all the paid actors. Look at all these people. My God. Holy hell. All these actors in these vans. Oh no. They can't even afford actors. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all having a great and, well, wonderful day. Unfortunately for some of these restaurant diners, they're not having the greatest of days. They're, uh, they're quite uh, angry over the fact that Kamala Harris decided to kick them out of the Pittsburgh restaurant and, um, you know, for a campaign stunt. As you can see there in the video, they're not very pleased, which I don't really blame them considering the fact how they were dining and having a good time and eating their food. Imagine if you are a person, you know, shows up around, you know, 3, 3, 3 20, 3.30. It's like, hey, I would like to order some food. All right, all right, that's cool. You sit down, eat some food, and then, there, then the staff comes out and says, hey, yeah, sir or family, people, group, yeah, you're, you guys are going to have to move out of here. Uh, and you ask the question why, and they answer it with, uh, oh, yeah, Kamala Harris is coming through, and, uh, that's the reason why you have to leave. And it's just, like, insane to me that is, that's the reality of what Kamala Harris is. P considering the fact that, you know, <laughs> why would you have to go into a restaurant and have your own crowd, your own people, to show that you are actually, you know, to show that you're, you're good with this, right? It's, it's quite insane. Now... Here's the difference between Trump and Biden and Kamala Harris. From what we gather, there was when Trump enters like a restaurant or whatever, people usually greet him. He usually they usually applaud him. Some people may hate him. Uh, some people adore Trump, and that's a okay. But he doesn't make it to where it's an entourage to where people have to make it to where oh well they seem liked. And whenever Joe Biden does something is similar, their people just completely ignore him. And when Kamala has to do it, she has to engage into a stunt, um, pretty much a show, if you will, if, to make it seem that people like her. So, again, I don't know what's really going on with this, but it's quite insane. And we have this here from the Daily Mail saying, the diners tear into Kamala Harris' campaign for kicking them out of Pittsburgh restaurant to bus in their crowd for a campaign stunt. A group of diners sitting down to enjoy Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania's famous Primanti Bro sandwiches were surprised and outraged Saturday after they were told by staff to leave by 4 o'clock p.m. It was a typical Saturday afternoon as a handful of patrons sat down for for beers, food, and baseball, but were soon disrupted thanks to a visit from the Vice President Kamala Harris. Well, my friends, my friends, my friends, I'm going to be showing this here to you, the actual stunt that Kamala Harris did, you know, to make it seem like everybody just loves her and likes her, when in reality, it's just a false stunt nobody actually likes her nobody really cares about her and she has to fake it to make it Thank you. 
push back a little bit. Yeah. Right, all right. These are some of our Yeah, so obviously every last one of those people you saw in there, every last one of those guys that uh, seem to be uh, their supporters, right? Their supporters um, are all actually just paid actors. They were actually paid to be there. Um, paid to like Kamala Harris. Now, I don't know about you, but if you're being authentic, if, you're, if people actually care, if people like, you know, actually enjoy your presence, you wouldn't have to pay people to actually be there. That's the crazy point, right? Like, maybe, just maybe, uh, if, you know, uh, you with, uh, with authenticity, they would, you would have some niceness, right? But that's not what's going on here. She has to pay people to like her because technically nobody likes her. And this is a desperate, desperate plea for people to seem that Kamala Harris is this great and wonderful person. And, you know, everybody loves Kamala Harris. I mean, look, she goes into a restaurant and everybody adores her. She shakes a little kid's hand. She shakes this person's hand. Everybody's liking her or whatever, except it's, it's all a lie. Yeah, it's all a lie. It says here, at one point, a woman directs Harris to meet some of her additional supporters, which included a young girl whom Harris warmly greeted and commented on her book which she was holding. She spoke to the girl about school and said she was counting on you to be a leader as Starris took pictures of the interaction. Executive Stafford then directs Harris to meet a volunteer as the vice president took a photo with the couple. It's common for candidates to make stops at local restaurants while on the campaign trail as Secret Service sometimes makes security sweeps in advance. Sometimes campaign volunteers get advance notice of events as they typically position themselves to meet their political hero and snag a photo. It is uncommon, however, for candidates to completely shut down a restaurant in advance of a brief campaign stop. Trump faced similar staging accusations from Democratic activists on social media after he visited Chick-fil-A in Atlanta where he hugged a conservative activist, Ma uh, Michaela Montgomery. Montgomery later spoke about the moment during an interview with Fox News following the, the following morning. The Harris campaign has, take has taken additional security measures to prevent unscripted moments or confronting angry protesters unhappy with their handling of the Israel Israeli war in Gaza. So, yeah. Uh... Which, by the way, they're not having a very full control over that, considering the fact, you know, um, the Gazans, the pro palestinian people, broke the barriers at the DNC. So, uh, <laughs> they're having a great time with those people. But, uh, it, guys, let me show you something, what they're talking about with the Atlanta thing, or if seeing if that's fake or not. Uh, this is the actual clip of Trump uh, being more authentic uh, by entering a Chick-fil-A or whatever, and, you know, people actually greeting him. So I don't care what the media tells you, Mr. Trump. We support you. We support you, Mike. Okay, 4 p.m. We do 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. <laughs> So yeah, you have that here where they have to, where they're saying like Donald Trump's not genuine. He has to go buy people. He has to go, you know, buy the media, make it a stunt or whatever, like Kamala Harris. Uh, but that just just doesn't seem to be the case. Again. We have his here, obviously, where they're, the media is going to have to lie about things and all that. And you can't really go buy the Chick fil A uniforms. I mean, you kind of can, but you're really going to have to go out of your way to buy a Chick fil A shirt or a Chick fil A pants, which is just technically going to be black slacks, anyways. So, I mean, you can go and do this, but you have to go out of your way, and you really just got to. <laughs> 
put on a, a bit of an effort to do this, and it's not even the official actual Chick Fil A uniform that you, that they hand out. So there, there's also that. Uh, but again, this is what uh, Michaela Montgomery had to say about this whole thing and uh, what actually happened at the diner. President, when you were hugging them, I don't care what the media says. We support you. Tell me what you meant by that. I am so glad that is the first question you asked me. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, in the excitement of everything, I wasn't able to really relay my message. Yeah. But um, the general consensus or social media would have you thinking that if President Trump were to show up to the HBCU campuses or walk around the ABC community, that like some angry mob would form or a riot would ensue and that he would not be welcomed. And clearly the sentiment in that room the other day was the complete opposite. He was very welcome. People were excited to see him. People showed up in support of him. And people, um, of course, were from all four institutions within the AUC, um, the local HBCU community in Atlanta, and they all showed up in support of him. So it's actually kind of crazy to see people in an uproar when all four institutions were legitimately represented and all four institutions were represented by said students who wanted to support President Trump. You know, McKenna and I appreciate that we were able to not only let him know that regardless of what social media says, you know, I know they're trying to make us think we're supposed to hate you, but we don't. And additionally, it was a learning experience for my students because they were able to see and experience firsthand how the media can warp the perception of an opinion or a person. Because uh, like I said, to think that these students who attend these illustrious institutions aren't smart enough to make their own decisions, That's so right. much so that they would only show support for Trump because he bought chicken sandwiches and milkshakes. It's offensive. That in itself is the most disturbing part of it all, especially when you think about the fact that it was mainly urban media outlets that were doing everything in their power to turn other black people against these young black kids who simply were not shy to explore other options. Yeah, so again, I really want to make this clear for everybody that the media had claimed that Trump was, you know, it's bad for Trump to go buy you know, food or whatever. You don't even see a clip to where Kamala Harris, even in that whole thing, she's like, oh, I'm going to buy everybody in the restaurant an order of one thing of they, what they want, where Trump goes and orders everything for everybody. There's more authenticity from Donald Trump than you see from Kamala Harris. And at the very least, you don't, if, if put it this way. If we had, if Donald Trump came into to that Chick Fil A restaurant and did exactly what Kamala Harris did, and you know, said like, okay, everybody's getting kicked out because when people go into the Chick Fil A or go into the diner or whatever, you're gonna have somebody. We're gonna, you're gonna have to. People are just gonna come in and they're just gonna have to clear out of the actual restaurant or whatever. So, uh, uh, or they're gonna put out a sign that's saying, oh well, you can't come in at this period of time because Donald Trump is com coming. Like, they would do that to at least, they would either do that to notify people that they, that the store will be closed at this time, and then Trump comes in, they'll under, and people will start understanding why, oh, Trump came in, well, we're angry about that, because we want to go get our food, but we can't because Donald Trump is here, that's stupid, but that's not what happened. Trump just showed up, and people liked him, whereas Kamala Harris had to kick out their own, had to kick out this restaurant's diners, people, these, these customers, that they paid to be there for, uh, to kick them out and have her stage her own type of operation, her own like TV setup type deal, which it's not really like a TV setup, but you understand to stage it so that they can, so she can be looking like she's good in the media. That is the reality of what the difference between Kamala Harris and Trump is. Kamala Harris has to stage something in order to make people like her. Trump just has to enter a restaurant and people could just end up liking him. That there is a clear difference here. And as I said before, they would have to actually make it to where Trump would make people leave this building or whatever, or not enter it, or what have you, so that way, uh, so that way he can have his entourage there. But that's not what happened. So I want you guys to understand the clear difference between these two people and what they do, and the type of insanity that uh, that the media has to run in order to make Kamala Harris seem like a good and uh, grateful president. I uh, as a good pick. I don't think she is. I think she's a communist. I think she's gonna she's gonna run very communist ideals, and I think it's really showing that if she has to play the media, that she has to do the stage just for making just to make people seem that they that people like her, 
it's a it's not really a good look. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. Cause it's algorithmic disease, the social media.